Well, hello everybody, Michelle here. Getting started on this boy. So this is just one of the shelves to a little bookshelf that I found. It seems to be veneer, a very thin veneer, because if you can see, you can see where some of the MDF boards coming from underneath. So I used 120 sandpaper just to knock off all the clear coat that was on there. And it's from Pure One, so it's got, it's okay. But what we're gonna do today is my favorite colors again. We're gonna be doing the blue. We're gonna do the purple. And we're gonna use a little bit of the green. I ran out of green in the bottle, so this is one of my personal ones. So here we go, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Give me one second, I'll be right back. Okay, I just got done setting up my colors, and of course I shook them really good, and I got my little handy dandy um, medicine dropper to get me started here. So I'm going to just get started. Now this is just bare wood, so it won't take very long at all. For those colors to sink in. Today I'm going to start with my lightest color. I'm just going to get a full drop roll of this and you'll see that I can just add it to the edge here. Give a nice little scoop. And it's okay if it doesn't, if it drips, it's not going to hurt anything. So we're going to just start with that, squirt it out. Remember I like to use my hand so I just get my palm of my hand, I do it, and just smear it across. And this is the emerald, Isles of Emerald. So it's not a very bright green, but what I'm gonna do with it is turn it almost teal. Cause I'm gonna be mixing a lot of the blue in. I know there's some of you just despise till, but you know what? I'm from New Mexico and it's the color I was raised with. So now I got it going this way. I'm gonna do some going this way as well. And all I do is take my hand again, just smear it inwards. Just long grains going. And you want to take it all the way to the edge. Just blend it in there. And there's our first color there. Now I'm going to go in with some of the blue. Grab it from the edge again and pull it inwards. Pull it all the way up. There we go. So there's my green and my blue starting. Work it from one side to the other. Get some more blue. Fill it in and get on this side going pretty good. See that you can still see the wood grain really well because I got it all the way down to that bare wood. There we go. So there's our first layer. And of course, we have some gaps. And those gaps are where I want to put in my purple. I'm just going to do a little line purple just in those gaps. Anywhere that you want to put a little bolt of an action color. There we go. There we are. So see how I kind of striped that in? I'm just going to take my hand and I'm going to go one direction with it. And then I'm going to do the opposite direction. And just smear it here and there. And then 
Rub your hands together if you want, if you don't want to clean them. It's okay. Just keep it clean or else you're going to get smudges. You don't want too many smudges. And just take your time. Rub it into that wood. There we go. Get this one going here. And stretch it a little further. Do you see how easy, easy that is to get this really artistic look? It's beautiful. And of course you could do any color combination you'd want. But I really love the jewel tones. The turquoise and the greens and the purples. And if you have little areas that are kind of bare, just go in there with a little bit of that green. Doesn't seem to be as pronounced as I'd like it. Oop, that one turned purple. It's okay. We're just going to rub it out. What's nice about it is that if you get too much of one color, you just rub it right out. But it's really hard to make a mistake with it because it's just so abstract and so neat. So what I'm going to do so I don't mix my colors, I really do want more green. So I'm just going to use my finger to guide it in there. And then fluff it out with a little feathering. See right here's a little white spot. Cut down to that MDF board right there. Get a little extra. Right here too, with a little extra. But that's it. That's how simple it is to get this effect on your tabletop and it looks like some type of beautiful sunset or something. I don't know how to categorize it. Just reminds me of energy flowing. So that's it. That's how you get that very simple design and um, as it sits it's going to get kind of foggy and that's because it's drying. And then I'll come back here in just a second and I'll show you what it looks like once you do a layer of tongue oil, which is my preferred um, product for bookshelves and stuff like that to seal them. So I'll be back here in a minute again. Okay guys, here I am and I have the look down here completely dry. I'm just processing it a little bit quicker for the demo video making sure it's dried out completely for you so that you can see what's going on. Okay. Looks like it's about done. So I was saying I like to use tongue oil as my, especially for double checking if I like it or not because if I don't like it after I put the clear coat on, I could do some more layers of the spit and do some glazing in. But um, yeah, I really love the high gloss too, so tongue oil is one of my favorites. So it's very simple to use. All you do is you only want to use a little tiny bit at a time because it will dry out and you don't want that. So it's kind of hard to open. I used my teeth. Aren't I terrible? Anyways, so you get a little bit of your tongue oil. Doesn't take much at all. Make sure that you put your cap back on because it's important. It dries out pretty quick. So you just get a little foam brush. Let's suck it up. And you just start from one end. And just drag it all the way down. And it's self-leveling. And you know, I have found that it is super duper cool whenever I do my kitchen tables, I always do a layer of tongue oil and then go over it with the high gloss polyurethane because it self levels. So if I didn't use a 120 or 220 sandpaper, it really helps it seal just so beautifully and so silky smooth. Fills in all the little gaps. So, okay, I'm going to come back here in just a little second. I'm going to apply this clear coat. 
and then I'll pick any little hairs out because I got a bunch of little animals around here. It's terrible. And I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I finished doing um, the tongue oil. Just took a few seconds. And this is what we came up with. So this, come on, focus, buddy. There you go. So as you can see, the stain goes right into the wood and it accents each individual color just so beautifully. I'm going to upload this via the computer because I got one now, I'm so excited, so that you guys can see just how detailed this stuff gets. And when you look at it from up here, let's see if it's gonna be too dark. Yes, God, I do not have perfect lighting <laughs> whatsoever, but I sure try. But this is what each shelf is going to look like. And it should be pretty neat looking. And of course, I just left the outside, the, the natural wood like it is here. I don't know if you can see that. But that's it, guys. It's very simple to do a horizontal or a blast using this. On my next shelf, I'm going to show you how to do a real or a blast. So thank you for tuning in. And I will be sending up another video here soon. Bye.